And you should not judge a man by his one week moment. Hey guys, welcome to Bring Your Babs. I'm your host, Vali Chikuni. I wanted to share with you, with, you know, how I feel about the situation with Stephen Lawson. As some of you might not be aware, Stephen Lawson um, has stepped down from ministry. And it's because he confessed that he had inappropriate relationship with a woman. He came forward to his elders at Trinity Bible Church in Dallas. So as a result, he has been removed from ministry. And uh, the master's uh, seminary, they have also removed him from their page. Ligonier, they've also removed him uh, from their ministry. And Passion, One Passion Ministry, they have also removed him from ministry. Uh, One Passion Ministry, that was his ministry. But anybody who has been in this situation, this is exactly what happens. So many people are disappointed. So many people are heartbroken. Pray for him, pray for his family, pray for his church. I am also very uh, disappointed and devastated. But I know there's more other people who are even more disappointed in this situation. It is very, it's, 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 it's gut-wrenching. And uh, I cannot even imagine uh, Pastor MacArthur, uh, just had a surgery, everything went well. I can I cannot fathom how he is processing this. How he's processing this. It's this is the issue. When somebody has fallen from ministry, it affects a lot of people beyond them. Because this is exactly what sin is going to do. It always takes you further than you anticipated. And to have seen the entire ministry of uh, Pastor Steve Lawson just, I, I don't even have words, okay? You, whenever you hear somebody has fallen, it's from all these false teachers and everything, okay? Pastor Steve Lawson, one of the top five expository preachers that I know of today. Solid, sound, biblical teaching. He can preach. He's gifted. You name it. And I, I still cannot believe that this, this is what happened and this is actually true. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. But it has happened. One thing uh, for sure in this situation, he's disqualified from ministry. He can never preach again according to the scriptures. Why? He's not above reproach. And the scriptures clear, you know, flee from sexual immorality. Paul himself actually says, I discipline my body so that I shouldn't be disqualified. So uh, this sin does disqualify one from ministry. He definitely, you know, uh, forgiven, but not mounting, not behind the pulpit, but in front of the pulpit. And Stephen Lawson himself, he knows all these things. He doesn't need to be told. He knows exactly what has to follow after what has happened. It's just par for the course. It just reminded me of this is what happened in Genesis. It was Eve who deceived. Uh, Eve was the one who was deceived by the serpent and offered the fruit to her husband and her husband ate. That was in Genesis 3 and here we are. It was uh, David Instead of him being an all out there, okay, uh, admiring someone else's wife, ended up killing her husband in Bathsheba. It was Solomon who had more wives than anybody in the world history has ever had, right? And with everything that God gave him, the same guy who built a magnificent temple of the Lord, he was out there electing uh, high places to force idols, to force gods. It was Solomon. And it was Samson who had all the power he could have. It was Delilah who ended up what? Deceiving him and putting him in that predicament. So you can see all these men throughout the history, what brought them to their knees is women, is women, right? Because of them, 
not taking care. Remember what happened to Joseph when the, uh, Mrs. Potiphar came? He was like, no, I'm going to run for my life. And he spent 22 years in prison. So the scripture is clear, free from sexual immorality. So this is what happened. So what, what he did out there in Dallas and Texas, it's affecting people around the globe because of his ministry. So uh, it's very hard, very disappointing, very heartbroken. And then to top it all off, the last message that he gave at his church. Watch uh, this clip, guys. And you should not judge a man by his one weak moment. You need to look at the whole body of his work. You need to look at his whole message. You need to look at his whole ministry. And don't judge him on one hiccup that happens. And you should not judge a man by his one weak moment. So that was the last message that Steve Lawson preached at his church. It was a 56 um, minutes message sermon, and the church has taken down uh, that message. I'll leave uh, the link below for the entire sermon. That way you guys can take a look and listen to it. He is correct that, yes, don't judge a man because of one situation, right, and judge the entire of his ministry. That's actually true. However, the magnitude of this situation, saying that and then the next minute this is where we're at, it's uh, very disappointing, okay? He's still a good teacher. I still love Pastor Steve Lawson. And this is what happens. The entire ministry of all the things that he has done is going to be judged by this situation. That's how human beings are. This is just how things work. Look what happened to Ravi Zachariah. 50 years of ministry all down the drain. Down the drain. The only saving grace to me, I'm like, okay, I'm glad at least he didn't have uh, his ministry named uh, the Steve Lawson ministry, right? It had a different um, name. So, you know, p people can still... Uh, be able to be edified through that because like you know right now like Ravi Zacharias the name is still attached to that right so every time you hear something it just makes you th like yeah it's a bother it's a bother so yes you know uh, I pray for him he's not beyond redemption people are going to sin and this is an example of what sin can do and what sin does I'm pleased that he came forward uh, he's, you know, subjugated, you know, he has subjugated himself to the elders while he's seeking uh, repentance and everything. There is no restoration to back, back to ministry. He knows that. He already knows that. But it's just them, their families, all these other things to be, uh, to be restored. So that's what has befallen the preacher, Steve Lawson. I cannot believe it because Steve Lawson is like, uh, R.S. Pro and John MacArthur, you combine those two, then you have Steve Lawson. And this is what has happened. So it's very disappointing, but here we are. Absolutely, here we are. But we know, we know, men, good men, good preachers, they will let you down. But Jesus will never let you down. So just one other thing that also I have noticed, you might not be on these social media platforms. There's actually people who are, are celebrating this situation, okay? Like, you know, the scriptures, you know what I mean? Do not uh, laugh when your enemy falls, right? When somebody has been caught in sin, you who are spiritual, restore such one, okay? Take heed lest you fall. You who think you stand, take heed lest you fall. So as believers, there's no room to celebrate when somebody has fallen. If anything, it's time for us to examine ourselves, to repent, to pray for our pastors, to, to be sober-minded about this situation. So, but nevertheless, this is what has transpired. This is what has happened. Pastor Steve Lawson has disqualified himself for ministry, for life. He cannot preach. He cannot preach. He cannot be a pastor at any other church. He cannot be restored back to ministry, contrary to, to what uh, these other churches, these other pastors have created to be. No, the Bible does not teach such thing, okay? 
An overseer must be a husband of one wife, and he must be above reproach. So, him not being uh, being in an appropriate relationship with another woman, other than his wife. He he knows that, he knows that, and him not being above reproach. Those two things does disqualify him for ministry, and he knows about that, and he has preached about such things so yes guys so yeah all right guys yeah very 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 hard very hard thank you guys (laughs) 